YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Let's get to the money. So this video is titled The Only Technical Analysis You Will Ever Need and it's simple for beginners. Now what you'll find is a lot on a lot of these videos, it's gonna be pretty complicated. So I'm gonna bring this into the simplest form possible. No, you know, nimbo jimbo, all that fancy talk. It's just gonna be straight, simple, and straight to the point. So I have the Weeble desktop open. So if you don't know what Weeble is, Weeble is a brokerage. And uh, the reason why I like Weeble is because it's a simple platform to use um, and they trigger whatever your order is. So if you're buying or selling, it's gonna trigger your order to what you ask for. Uh, a lot of brokerages, when it comes to you to put a stop loss on, and we'll talk about that, they will not trigger the stop losses. So that's important to know. Now, don't be distracted or um, intimidated by the screen see. So basically, if you wanna search for a particular stock, you can do it here and you just will type it in there. But I have my playlist, my watch list set up. And so I'm gonna double click and we're bringing up the SPY, which the SPY tracks the S&P 500. Now, charting is pretty simple. Um, if I click this drop down here, you'll see there's a one minute, two minute, and the further you go out as far as time goes, uh, the bigger the overview is. So you'll notice if we do the 10 minute, for example, and I'm gonna take these lines out because we don't need them yet. You can see this thing goes back to February uh, 20th, okay? So if we do the five minute, for example, it's gonna take a couple of days off and now you're seeing February 27th. So what we wanna do is we wanna use either one minute, 30 seconds, or you can do uh, intraday. Okay, so the intraday, <clears throat> since we're in a pre-market, is, is showing the previous day. But if you want to include the extended hours, which means the pre-market, so the pre-market is before the actual market opens. So the actual market is open at 9.30 a.m. and they close at 4 o'clock p.m. Okay. So this is the way we're looking right now in the pre-market, okay? So don't be, um, you know, don't be distracted or discouraged. We'll break this down. So on this chart, you can see the, the high point, which is here, and you can see the low point, which is here. So basically when we're reading the charts, we're reading them from right to left. So we want to identify what the high point is, right? For the high point, we're going to uh, go to the drop down. We're gonna do horizontal lines. So we're gonna put that line right there, okay? So we're gonna click there, and now we're gonna get another horizontal line. And we're gonna go to the lowest point. And then we're gonna click in the middle. Now, this line here is called support. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna do a text, all right? And we're gonna call this support. All right, so this is our support line. So basically, the support line is kind of the lowest point of the actual chart that you're looking at, right? So this is the lowest point. And then up here, this line is called resistance. Okay. So we're gonna call this resistance. Hope I spell it right. So resistance is the high point. Now, what happens as the stock is moving if the actual stock starts to move above this line, right? And it shows strength, meaning it's holding above this line. 
then what you can do is call a call option, okay? So as we come over here to the right, you see this thing says single, and that's that's what you want it if you're gonna be doing a single option, okay? And then you can see it says call right here. You can drag this over a little bit. And so let's say the market is open and you say, hey, the stock is above the resistance line here. Let me bring this over so you can see the name. I think it's going to $515. So what you would do is click on the ask, right? And then you can select what you want to buy for. Um, you can say, hey, I, I want to buy it at $14. I want to buy it at $15. And the quantity here represents a contract. Now, one contract represents 100 shares of stock. So when you're doing a call option, you are borrowing 100 shares of stock, okay? Now, the most important thing is your stop loss, which is right here. So your stop loss is essentially saying that for right now, it's saying that if the stock comes down um, or the option price comes down 10%, and it's going to trigger the stop loss, and therefore I only lose $1.50 because 10% is uh, $1.50 or $15. Now you can change this to a dollar amount. So let's say um, I want to I want to only lose $5 if this thing doesn't go in my favor, right? So you can do it by percentage or dollars, whatever works for you. Now to the opposite side, you can decipher how much you want to take on a profit if call option goes in your favor, it means the stock is continuing to go up higher, right? And so you can change this to a dollar, uh, a dollar amount and you can say, hey, I want you to cash me out when this thing gets to twenty dollars, and then you would make a five dollar profit off of this. Okay, and this is why I like Weebull because whatever you put in here is going to do exactly what it says. Unlike a lot of brokerages out here, so keep that in mind. So this stop loss is very important. I don't know how. I, else I can say this is very important because you do not want to lose all the money that you put up. So a stop loss is very important. If you want to lose three dollars, you can change it to twelve. You want if you want to make more possibly, but don't be too greedy. You can go up a little bit more. So this is why the technicals matter. Okay. So this is how you buy a call. Now, if you have, if you think the market is going to go down and it comes below this line here, and you say, hey, it's showing weakness to the downside, I think I'm going to put a put option in, meaning I think the stock is going to go down. Okay. So you say, oh, I think this thing is going to go to, to 510, right? So you click on that ask, and then you can see you will be buying it for 37, and then you can have your stop losses set, okay? Now that, that stop loss is very important. Again, very, very important. So for your take profit, if you decide to do this, make sure it's checked here. If you're doing a stop loss, make sure it's checked here because we want to make money and we want to lose as little as possible so we can live to see another day, okay? So if we click here, let me slide this over. It has different options here, but I can't drag it over, but make sure you look at all of these different uh, options that they have. So very, very important. 
Now, what I want to do um, to kind of put this into a, a, a better perspective is if I take this extended out without, we're going to put those trend lines. Let me see if I scroll out. It still has those trend lines. Yeah, so let's go one week out. All right, so I'm going to go back to this entry day. I thought those trend lines would still be there. So we're going to create some new lines here. And also, if you don't like the view, you can change these things to, to candlesticks. You can do all sorts of different things. You don't like that, the look over on it. So let's do something a little bit different. Let's go to the one minute. You can see that the chart looks a little bit different. And so now it's showing you the different candlesticks. So I like this candlestick look a little bit better. And so what I'm gonna do is scroll in a little bit so you can see the candles. So the red candles represent selling. The green candles represent buying. I'm gonna scroll in just a little bit more. So we're gonna put some trend lines again. Well, if you remember, how do we do it? We went to drawings. And then we went to horizontal line, and now we're going to click here, okay? We're gonna click there. We're gonna do another horizontal line. And so boom, now you can see different points. So I'm gonna put this here just as if we were uh, live trading. So I'm gonna put that here, okay? So now, again, you have your resistance line, which is here. Let's type resistance again. And I'm just simply showing you where you could have made money on yesterday with this chart. And we'll, we'll do some, we'll do some live action as well. Okay, that way things kind of come into perspective with you. We'll do that on another video, so stay tuned for that. This is support. <clears throat> now, during this particular time, which was yesterday, so the stock was here. You can see it was a lot of buying, right? So this was resistance at some point. And so at this point, you can see it was it was showing strength at about right here. So you could have got in, wrote this thing up, and then had your stop loss set to exit out. Okay. And so to the downside, look at all of this selling, all of the red, the big red candles represent a lot of selling going on. Then it did a reversal, more selling. Okay. And then at this point, it's showing right here, once it got to this candle, it's showing that, yeah, this thing is gonna come down. So it's showing you the weakness, and this is the confirmation you need to ride this thing on down, and you could have made money at this point as well. Okay, so that's kind of what we're looking at, and this is, is a simple form that it's as simple as possible, right? So even if we move the support line here, you can see it came up and then there was a lot of selling. You could have got in on this thing right here and this thing is just constantly pushing down. So again, if you got in on this second red candle, the third candle, you're making money. The fourth candle, you're making money. The fifth candle is steady going down. It's steady going down. So that's the price action you want to get on a put. So again, if this thing were, were to support and we zoomed in a little bit more, this would represent the support line. Again, if you were right here at March 4th at 1534, you put a put option in, you making money on this thing coming down. Now to the opposite side, I'm gonna bring the 
the support down, I'm gonna bring the, the resistance over. So again, at, at some point, this thing was resistance, right? So I'm gonna bring the support down so that you're not confused here. All right, so at one point that was support, and at one point this was resistance. So <clears throat> on March 4th at 1436, this thing was resistance, and then you can see a big green candle come. So at the end of this candle, it shows that it's gonna have some strength, momentum going up. So you would put a call option in, riding this thing all the way up, and then your automatic, uh, your automatic take profit would have triggered, and you could have made money right here. So this is this is simple uh, options, you know, trading, simple technical analysis, and the things that you can look at. So again, the big green can the green candles, green represents buying, red represents selling. Okay, so again, you want to be quick on your feet. Um, and this is more so for day trading, right? So this is for, for a little bit of faster pace. So if I zoom this thing out, you need to know if you see this right here, it looks like it's trying to, to come up to a, a certain point it's testing it drops back down it tries to test that again and then there's a big sell off so this movement here you see is called a double top okay usually after a double top there's a hard sell off that happens so let's write that down this is called a double top okay so you need to know that double top, when you see that double top form, it's going up, boom, it's going up, boom. And then when it comes to about right here, you know this thing has, has lost strength and it's gonna shoot down, okay? So remember that double top, double top, double top. <clears throat> and even to the opposite, um, there is something called a double bottom. I don't know if they'll have one on, on this chart, let me see, if I do a one hour, I'm sorry, a one week. So yeah, you see it here. This thing is going, up, going, going down. I'm sorry, up, so from here, it's going down, down, and then it, it, it shoots up. So this is called a double bottom. So it, it tried to attempt to go down, low one time it tried to go down low two times it didn't and then it powered up okay so this is called a double top i'm sorry a double bottom double bottom let's type that in double bottom okay so that's a double bottom one down one down and then it shoots up okay so again the only technical analysis video you ever need i mean bringing this thing into simple form simple movements again you're looking for uh you're looking for those support and resistance lines you're looking for confirmation and all you're doing is riding the momentum right so the biggest mistakes I made early on, and I've been, you know, dealing with stocks for probably about 10 years now. The biggest mistake I always made was trying to step ahead of the market and not follow the trend. So all I'm teaching you in this is to follow the trend. So if the stock is moving up, you're riding the wave up. If the stock is moving down, you're riding the wave down. And that's all we're doing. This is called momentum trading, right? We're riding with the trends. We're not going against them, all right? So again, I'm gonna type this in. The type of trading we're doing is called momentum trading, okay? That's what we're doing. That's what we're about, momentum trading.
So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. And we're out, guys. Peace.